all right? Uh, sorry for the double wave, just constantly think I'm on a Zoom call. Uh, my name is Laura, I'm Deputy Beauty Editor at Cosmo and I have been too scared to make a YouTube video since 2009. I make videos on my Instagram, but I have I've watched YouTube since Candy Johnson did Megan Fox tutorials in 2009. Like, I'm an OG when Mac was everything fan. Um, but I've always been too scared to go into YouTube. But I feel like if I can handle TikTok comments and if I can handle a pandemic, I can handle a couple of people calling me fat online. You know, it'll be fine. So for my first video, I'm so excited to do, I mean, also, disclaimer, I've already done this on my Instagram, but do you know what? And this is how um, dedicated I am to this YouTube career. <laughs> um, I am refilming another version in landscape. I did think about just putting my Instagram TV on here and just making you watch a vertical video with like blank space around it. But I don't know about anyone else, I actually hate that. So I was like, don't be lazy, I'll refilm it. But anyway, today I'm reviewing, I know. So if you're wondering why this random girl with zero subscribers has the makeup by Mario PR kit, same. Um, it's because, obviously this is my job at Cosmo, um, I did a feature with Mario. I've met him on a few occasions at press events and different launches and um, But I'd never met him for him to like to Properly have like time with him and then last year I did a feature with him and it was a profile just on him and his work and he did my makeup for it and um, I'm not gonna go into too much detail here because I rave about Mario so much I'm worried he's gonna get a restraining order out, out against me um, but he is just the sweetest, most genuine, kind man. And I just want people to know that because um, I've met a lot of people through my job and they don't always end up how you think. They're very different online to how they are in real life. Straight up, um, I know when this launched and it said Sephora exclusive, it was like my heart shattered into a trillion pieces, but it ships to the UK from his website um, and I already know some people that have shipped already and I think there's no shipping charges at the moment so um, definitely you can get your hands on it if you're in the UK. His first um, launch he's focused all on the eyes and I know he said that's because that's the part of makeup he does first so I have done my base and I'll show you what I've used. So for foundation I'm wearing the new Chanel Le Beige um, Healthy Glow Foundation um, I know they had a version before, but this is a new one that just launched in September. My shade is B30, because God, finding your foundation shade with no testers now is a nightmare. Uh, for concealer, I've used the Shiseido Synchro Skin um, 103 Fair. This is really good, by the way. Never hear people on YouTube talking about it. Um, then for powder, face powder, I just used the Hourglass Veil. And then I used a bit of my Lottie London Freckle Tint, which I'm obsessed with. Um, for my cheeks and my lips, I've used this NARS lipstick in Band Red, which um, I bought purely because it um, is the lip colour that Addison Ray said she always wears. And yes, I'm 33. Um, and then this e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil, which is also really good and some Glossier Boy Brow. We're gonna go straight into the good stuff. I can just get this case open. I'm gonna go straight in with the Master Eye Prep and Set in Light. So I think when Mario first showed these, um, I assumed, and I think a lot of people did, that they were kind of a bit like the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage. They're not concealers, they're eyeshadow primers. Um, and they actually, spoiler alert, when I did it on my Instagram TV, this was my favourite product. Probably out of everything, which you wouldn't think, but so good. I have got the light shade here, yeah. And the idea is that you can have a lighter shade for your eyes, or you can mix them together with this darker shade uh, for a, like more true to skin colour. I actually really like the lighter shade because I feel like it made me look more awake and made my shadows, like, don't use the word pop. Don't use the word pop. It made my shadow stand out more. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that again. So these are the two creams and then you have a translucent powder at the bottom 
and um, to just set it all. So, and I'm gonna use the Mario EF1 brush. So. I'll do one eye first so you can see. Um, but do you see how more awake that eye looks? I mean, obviously, I'd blend that out a bit more. I actually really like that. Just I would almost wear that on its own. Um, so that's just your primer. I'm just going to do the other eye. Now we're just going to set with a translucent powder and flip the brush. I know Mario said also in his video, if you're using um, a matte eyeshadow, you don't need to do this step. But I just did it um, and it worked really well for me last time. Now my eyes are primed, it's time to move on to eyeshadow. And I already, in my first video, have fallen into the trap of forgetting to film a clip. And I just had to take off my shadow and do it again. At least I didn't complain about being ill for the first 10 minutes. Okay. And the matte one is honestly like my dream everyday eyeshadow palette. I know that you might think, oh, that's a bit boring. But honestly this i would get the most use out use out of um my favorite ever eyeshadow palette is discontinued it's by tom ford coco mirage and that is just a quad of four brown mattes so imagine my joy at having like the extended version of that this would work for every skin tone it's just beautiful and it's such a makeup artist palette because from watching mario work he doesn't use that many products he mixes he uses a lot of pro brands and pro brands will always have like a palette of mattes you know you've got to remember that he isn't like a makeup consumer in the way that we are so i love this shimmer one looks like this i might include um a video i took of it because in the sunlight it is beautiful i'm gonna go in with the E4 brush and I think this shade all over my lid first. I just had my fringe cut yesterday and yeah it's being a pain in the ass. So what I'm just going to do is just a wash of colour all over the lids first. Which to be honest is what I would do for like my everyday makeup and just leave it there. So I hope what you can see here, and that's why I love the base so much, having hooded eyes as well, I normally always get some kind of skipping or patchiness, but with this, I don't know if it's a combination of the eyeshadow and the base, but they blend. Honestly, I've never had eyeshadow blend like this on me. Zero patchiness, zero skipping. If you've got hooded lids, you will understand that nightmare. Okay, all over colour on. I'm going to go in with the smaller E5 brush and this, what one? This middle colour here, this kind of nice warm brown. And I like to elongate my eyes. I have quite round eyes and I like to kind of make them a bit more like Angelina Jolie ish. So I always take my liner or my shadow, have them winging out. I just always take it from the pupil outwards. I never really line in here. Um, and I don't know why I'm pretending I'm Mario with you. Although it might be worth you knowing that I did actually train to be a makeup artist. Um, but I realise I'm incredibly selfish and really only like doing makeup on myself. True story. These are just so easy to work with. Like there isn't really any fallout. Next, I'm going to go in with one of the Master Pigment Pro pencils in the Perfect Brown. So I'm going to tight line the top first, which I well, I'll cut away so you so you know that I did it, but you don't have to witness it. See the difference? It's like she's suddenly woken up. Then I'm going to do basically where I went with that um, darker brown shadow. So. Here. and you can blend it out with the end of this brush but I'm just going to use the little um, E5 one again I'm 
what i really like is you're able to smoke these out but they don't blend out completely some eyeliners i find that once you start trying to blend them they just disappear but that as you can see is still very much there cool i'm gonna add a bit of shimmer a bit of shimmer with his master master his master oh my god his master crystal reflectors three shades this is citrine this is quartz this is bronzite which as you can tell is my favorite um they work best mario said it and i agree they work <laughs> as if i'm like and i agree with you <laughs> uh, they work best with your finger they're kind of that weird like cream are they a cream are they a powder vibe like a bit color pop um and Again, you want to see, but they just have this beautiful wet look. So I'm just going to add that to the middle of my lid. If I lived in a country with sunlight, um, you could see more. But I just love, like, I'm basically just doing, what I love about this is this is a makeup that I would do for, like, going out. And this is just everything I need. And I've realised, I had this realisation. I'm a huge fan of the whole collection. Um, and I realised why. Because it's basically, all of this is the makeup that I do. And I didn't realise until I was writing my review for Cosmo. But I've loved Mario for, I mean, since when he had a blog. And all of my, to be honest, although like I have like Kevin O'Quan's books and I have some Bobby Brown books. Mario is the one whose technique that I've watched the most and probably tried to emulate or copy the most. So my, the makeup that I love is essentially his makeup. So this is like all of my dream products, but created by like my dream makeup artist. I feel like makeup has become so um, gimmicky and this is a collection of like proper makeup. Highlighter, so it's his Master Secret Glow in the shade Expensive. And it's basically like a balm, but um, I, this is this is savage. I can't bear um, so like you know say with Morphe two, I can't bear companies keep releasing face glosses because I think it's really lazy. It's like they know that we don't want. I mean, I'm not Gen Z. I'm like I said, I'm an, I'm an older millennial, um, but I'm not into that like kind of instagram that kind of youtube makeup that i feel like we're moving away from i never use um powder highlighters because they're just not very flattering um i think they make your skin look textured i think they look really fake i always will go for a cream highlighter um one of my favorites is the pericone md no highlighter highlighter that's so good so it annoys me when these brands know that we don't want that anymore and they just give us a face gloss and i'm just like it's not the same like a face gloss is too sticky um and it just breaks everything down so i was a bit alarmed i was like oh not another face gloss but this isn't and he did th he's done lots of mini tutorials on his page and he kind of acknowledged and explained that so it's way less there's obviously some tack to it but it's not i wouldn't call it a gloss um and on the skin it kind of does there's still a little bit like i know my friends that love matte wouldn't be into this but for me, it's way, um, I don't have that fear that my makeup is going to slide off and it doesn't break your makeup down. So I'm just going to pat it in. And I really hope you'll be able to see it. Because I've just got no light here. I'll try and take it a bit further. Oh yeah, you can kind of see there. It's just really natural. Like super, super natural nose and i also love because you can take it everywhere because i think as opposed to a powder highlighter which can look so fake you can't really put that everywhere but this go to town my mascara i'm just going to use the maybelline forces lash lift this is such a good one by the way we are done i will give you a close-up which is essentially me leaning in but I really do love it. I think if you're a Mario fan and a real makeup lover of just, I think, really good, like, basics, this is so good. My two favourites by far would have to be the um, Master Prep and Prime and the Matte Palette. They're definitely my two favourites, swiftly followed by the highlighter. But thank you so much. Um, 
if you're not too horrible, I'll be back with another video. Um, fingers crossed.